highest good decision making. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 265. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sapel, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 265, April 22nd, 2018 edition. Today, what I'd like to talk about is highest good decision making. For One Community, Highest good decision making is one of our core values. It's one of the things that we consider to be most important and we consider ourselves a highest good organization. So we try and make all of our decisions from the perspective of what is in the highest good of humanity as a whole and all life on this planet. And we're doing this because we think that from that place and as an open source and free sharing organization, we think it's important to do this because from that place, from that creative place, if we're always creating with this consciousness and we're open sourcing and free sharing, everything that it is that we're doing. And for us, what you see happening in the background here is all of our creative process. This is what we're creating. As an organization that's creating housing and food infrastructure and energy infrastructure and fulfilled lifting practices and structures, as well as high good education models, high good economic models, and true stewardship models, we think it's absolutely essential to create these from a perspective of what is in the highest good of all life. And the reason why is because if we're not creating it from that place and we're open sourcing and free sharing these things, then what is the foundation that we're building and sharing? Because right now, if you look at the world, I think most people will agree that there is room for improvement. There's a lot of people and organizations that are creating things that aren't for the highest good of humanity and all life on this planet. There's lots of people and organizations that are creating things only for money or they're creating things uh, for short-term goals that don't really account for the long-term destruction that's associated with, with this. There's people that are creating things that aren't considering the consequences of their actions. And so we like to take all of that stuff into consideration, our entire creative process. And in doing that, we're creating an evolution of sustainability built on this highest good decision-making process that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, housing, and energy, sustainable food, sustainable housing, sustainable energy, combines it with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, truer stewardship models, and fulfilled living models. And we're putting these things together to build highest good teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. And they're open source and free shared because we don't claim to know what is the highest good, like what is the best? We don't really know. We just know that we're doing the best that we can with that as our goal. And we're non-dogmatic, we're non-ideological about it because we realize that other people will have different ideas. But we know that if we do our best, if we try our best to, to live and create from a place of highest good decision making, then that's a step in the right direction. And in open sourcing and free sharing it all, if people take what it is that we're creating, modify it, adapt it, change it for their own values and goals, because it's built on this concept of highest good living, all the foundations of highest good living, we think that we're moving humanity in the right direction. And our ultimate expression of this are teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that will be built around the world to share the concept of highest good living, to share the concept of of radical sustainability, of comprehensive sustainability that covers all aspects of life, as well as the, those, those emotional foundations of sustainability that we talked about, the social architecture, the education models, the economic models, putting all these things together in a way of, to provide a way of living that we think most people consider to be far superior to the way that's living right now and open sourcing and free sharing, and so it spreads. And we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then that is the highest good approach to creating a self-replicating model that could create a world that finally works for everybody. We can simultaneously, comprehensively address the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come 
through these models. And so this is what we're all about. This is what we're dedicated to. And everything that you see happening in the background of this video is our creative process. Like what our all volunteer, nonprofit, 100% unpaid team has created to this point. As we build one community, you and everybody you know will be invited to come and visit and experience what it is that we're doing. Or you could apply to our organization and possibly join our team and live with us and create with us and build with us. This is what we're doing. This is how we're creating world change. And this is our idea of highest good decision making manifest into a real tangible place that anybody will be able to visit and experience. So if that sounds exciting to you, if that sounds interesting to you, well, check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. Go visit our website and see all the details and everything. But here, with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments, all volunteer, unpaid team, working towards this idea of highest good decision making manifest as a teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub that anybody will be able to visit open source and free shared so it's replicable. Take a look. Here's one week of our team's progress accomplishments. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team began updating the 3D aspects of the Murphy bed drawers and changing areas. The core team, working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, also completed another round of editing and testing different layout options shown here for the compressed earth block village parts of the seven villages book we're developing. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his fourth week leading the development of the Murphy bed instructions. This week's focus was simplifying the materials lists and further developing the drawers and nightstand frame pages, as shown here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates. Here is update 110 of Dean's work. This week, Dean finished the main render for the dining hall view from the front door, which you can see here. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 19th week working on the Compressed Earth Block Village render editions. This week, he finished updating this render of one of the massage rooms. The render is now updated on the website also. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his fifth week helping update our Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. What you see here are two updated renders from before and this new and final render of the West Outdoor Dining Area. These are now updated on the website also. And Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her 12th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week she started working on textures and other design details needed to produce final external renders. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working with Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, completed a thorough review and update of the behind the scenes development of the city center excavation and construction of the footer and foundation tutorial work from last week. You can see some of this work in progress here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 71st week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was choosing and comparing a variety of different fixture types that meet the lead criteria for diffuse lighting. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 18th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplicle City Center. This week's focus was more additions and development of the HVAC zonal document and working on the makeup air unit and electric boiler sizing challenges. And Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her second week helping with the Dubical City Center materials and costs. This week's focus was summarizing construction materials for interior equipment, taking all the dimensions from the floor plans and calculating materials as well as interior quantities for the first floor, and starting the same for the second floor. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued working on the garden tools list by adding even more tools, images, and prices. 
You can see some of this work here. The core team also began writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the second landing party group of 20 people. You can see some of this work in progress here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished the second 50% of review, formatting, editing and content, resources, and imagery additions to the Learning for Life assessment format page. You can see some of this last week's work here, and the page is now complete. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manohar, Shubra Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Swati Jayasilan continued their work on the software. This week, they added new sorting functionality to the user management table, made the administrative and social links on the user profile page clickable, and added a dropdown that lists the members contributing to projects and produces a bar chart showing the total hours spent by a person every day in the current week. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments built on this foundation of highest good decision making and moving towards creating a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. If you're interested and you'd like more information, more details, specifics, and all the open source content, everything that is that you see in this blog and previous blogs and everything that we're creating, visit our website, visit our written blog. There's so much information, so many details there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us and subscribe to our social media uh, networks and manage your updates that way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Facebook, we are on Pinterest, we are on Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks. So whatever your social media network, I'm pretty sure that we are there and we share updates every single week there, uh, as well as lots of additional information if you want to visit our Facebook page. Uh, that's probably our one or our group. We've got lots of different ways to share the information. Of course, if you'd like the easiest way to help us out, like this video, uh, share our information, visit our website, share the pages that you love the most, visit our social media networks and like our posts, help us share our posts, help us spread the word. It makes a big difference. We really do appreciate it. And of course, uh, donations are appreciated as well. We're 100% unpaid staff and a nonprofit organization. So 100% of donations goes to forwarding our mission. It does not go to paying salaries or wages or anything like that. It helps us just keep more moving forward, covering our web expenses and things like that. So we do appreciate it. And of course, if you're somebody that sent us an email or made a comment on this video or on any of our other ones, we appreciate that as well. The feedback, the input, uh, even just saying, hey, thanks, you're doing a great job. All this stuff makes a difference. We do appreciate it. And, uh, and we also appreciate it if you've just watched the end of the video. So thanks for watching this long. Thanks for following our progress. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.